We started it when we went live in December. We had about, uh, we could say about the number 40, 40 falls. Um, now we're looking at less than 10 falls. And with that, we were able to first respond when the, when the AI system calls us, but our clinical team is able to look at the video and see what led up, led up to the fall, and we can put interventions in place to help prevent those falls. Cadence at Clemens is an assisted living center specializing in older adults with memory issues or those who need help completing daily activities. What's special about Cadence, however, isn't just the care they provide, but the technology they've employed to help address one of the leading cause of injury in older adults, falls. At first, everybody, of course, was a little bit skeptical of, you know, a camera yeah. um, and them being on camera. Mm -hmm. But now they, they have come to, you know, accept that. Last December, the community installed AI video technology from Safely You that can help detect and prevent falls. Now, how does it work? Well, the camera is installed inside all residents' rooms, and if the resident makes any movement that is similar to a fall, it starts recording. And it also alerts nearby caregivers to come see if that resident needs assistance. Not only does it detect falls, but the cameras can also help prevent them by recording what a resident was doing before and after the fall occurred. Alma Love is the executive director of Cadence at Clemens. She says watching the videos afterwards helps her team figure out intervention strategies to prevent instances in the future. Basically like moving furniture around in the room if we need to, um, providing grip socks um, or making sure their slippers are right by their bed or um, putting a light in their room like a night light. So just different small interventions but they, it makes a huge difference. Misty Ratliff, the memory care director for Cadence at Clemens, says the cameras have really changed how the community monitors and addresses falls. It allows us to see what these residents are maybe doing before and after, you know, at the response time, it's just cut down on hospitalizations, residents having to go out for falls, not knowing if the resident has hit their head. In Clemens, I'm Casey Zanowick, ABC 45 News, standing up for you.